first. I'd like to begin by welcoming everyone and thanking each of you for being here on this most joyous of days. It's no accident that you are here today and each of you are invited to be here because you represent someone important in the lives of Lisa and Grant. I want to thank Lisa and Grant's parents coming from Texas and South Carolina and for providing us with wonderful children that have become important parts of our lives. I want to thank the other family members for supporting them while they were growing up, helping shape them into who they are today. And I want to thank all the friends who bring so much happiness into Lisa and Grant's lives and who've flown in to make this occasion extra special. We're going to have a great time tonight. I truly can't think of a better venue than Castle Lady Hawk in this beautiful state of North Carolina for an occasion that I know will be monumental for the wedded couple to be. And for all of us who are lucky to know and love them, you all know Lisa and Grant, and you all know this castle venue is very on brand. And we have to thank the April skies for blessing us with this beautiful weather on this happiest of days. The most remarkable moment in life is when you meet the person who makes you feel complete. The person who makes a world a beautiful and magical place. The person that can have your back in a first person shooter game. The person that can provide a shoulder for you to lean on during a sad time and while watching a poignant movie. The person you can share your favorite bowl of ramen with when you realize that the other can be more than you. The person that can challenge you into knowing the complex rules of college football. The person with whom you share a bond so special that it transcends normal relationships and becomes something so natural, so wonderful, that you can't imagine spending another day of your life without them. Though I wasn't there to witness the beginning of Lisa's and Grant's relationship, I've been lucky to be a close part of the journey for the last plus years. During the height of the pandemic in 2020, Lisa and Grant would invite my fiance Pat and I to their place every Saturday night for great food, delicious drinks, a sick music set, and amazingly fun board games. While it was a dark and lonely time for us all, those nights made the pandemic feel just that much brighter. And through those times, I was able to see their love bloom into the marriage that we are witnessing today. I want to share with you Lisa and Grant's love story. In September 2016, during Booth's first year orientation, under the stars of Chicago's cold, dark night, Lisa met Grant at the most appropriate place for the two of them, on the dance floor. The venue was a semi-formal at the Navy Pierce Crystal Gardens, and while all the other first-year Boothies were busy getting oriented to each other, Lisa approached Grant and simply said, Hi, I'm Lisa. Later, we find out that Lisa really liked Grant's dance moves, and that's what initially attracted her to him. And trust me, friends, you'll all get to witness Grant's virtuosity on the dance floor tonight. It was all made possible by the courage and leadership that Grant and fellow classmate JPJ showed by hitting the dance floor first. Needless to say, Lisa and Grant were immediately smitten with each other. Shortly after, Lisa started the Booth EDM group channel, and through their mutual love of house and EDM music, they started to realize just how much they had in common. Later that semester, fellow Booth classmate Jack organized a small outing to an EDM show, What's So Not. Shout out to my cousin Jack, who introduced me to the couple in 2018. Whether it was intentional or serendipitous, Jack said that he was a game time decision, which is not uncommon saying for Jack. He last minute bailed on the concert. This gave Lisa and Grant the opportunity to have their first rave bay experience and enjoy the show with just each other. Grant was so impressed by Lisa challenging him to tequila shots during the show, they had a thought, hey, this one could be a keeper. Afterwards, they completed the night by sharing some delicious tacos with each other. Needless to say, 
they became even more smitten. So, through that first year, while they were focused on school, recruiting, and other priorities, Lisa and Grant never lost sight of each other. Through many hours spent together, they realized just how many of their interests were. From board games and video games to anime to delicious foods to even finance. Hey, after all, the two smarty pants went to booth. They must be interested in finance. They could hang out with, without ever getting tired of each other. As the spring semester came around, decisions had to be made about travel abroad. They made a conscious effort to go on each trip with each other. With their classmates, many of you who are sitting in attendance today, they trekked Greece, Iceland, Colombia, Romania, Scotland, Jordan, and Israel. They grew closer and closer, and it became apparent that they would want to spend the rest of their lives with each other. After graduation in 2018, they took one more memorable trip together. They wanted to cap off their amazing two years of business school by traveling as Grisa. They flew to Australia, Japan, and the birthplace of Lisa's parents, Taiwan, where Grant became fully acquainted with the extended two family. Afterwards, career opportunities took Grant and Lisa to cities that are two time zones apart. However, their relationship endured and grew stronger with the two of them finding their way back to each other in Los Angeles. And together with the best corgi in the world, Little Boba, to begin building a future together. They solidified their commitment to one another when Grant proposed to Lisa before New Year's Eve in winter 2020, right here in the state of North Carolina. It's only appropriate that we're back here, okay, 16 months later, to celebrate their joyous reunion. It's my personal experiences with Lisa and Grant that highlight the quality of their love. They complement each other so well. They balance one another. They sacrifice for each other. They're both better by being together. As a team, true partners in crime. It doesn't matter if I'm with them in person or simply in a group text that includes my lone Android phone. When I'm hanging with Lisa and Grant, I'm always enjoying myself and I know that all of you feel the same. I'm certain that that's a part of what makes them so special to each of us. How happy and content we feel when we're with them. And what we wish for them on their wedding day is that their lifetime together as a team is one of complete content. Full of those moments that they wish would never end and that they continue to make one another smile and laugh through the end of time. So, without further ado, dearly beloved and honored guests, we are gathered here today to join Lisa and Grant in the union of marriage. This contract is not to be entered into lightly, but thoughtfully and seriously, and with a deep realization of its obligations and responsibilities. Grant, we made it. <laughs> like the mountains around us, we've been through highs and lows over these past five plus years. But never in my mind did I doubt you are the one for me. We've had highs such as the two-year vacation that others call business. Sorry, mom and dad. <laughs> I promise I learned something. Uh, and we had lows such as our long-distance relationship, but it was sometimes hard to see the end to all the red eyes. But through it all, I am so lucky to go weather through it with you. I love how you make me want to be a better person, more patient, more understanding, and sometimes more open to eating my vegetables. <laughs> I love how you're so personable and embody the life of the party, encouraging me to just relax and have fun. I love how no matter what, you can make me laugh especially with your uncanny ability to impersonate just about anyone, even our corgi. Uh, Grant, uh, you are my best friend, and I feel like I could truly be myself with you. It is my greatest honor to be your wife, and as your wife, I make these vows to you. I promise to put you and the life we will build together first. I promise to love and support the man you are today, the husband you will be tomorrow, and the person you hope to become. I promise to care for you, stand beside you, and share with you all the adversities and joys life will bring, 
especially during college football season. I promise to sit through your world history podcast during our road trips or in normal LA traffic, which some people may classify as a road trip in and of itself. And last but not least, I promise to remember that our love is one in a million. It is so natural and I will never take that for granted. And so, because you love Pokemon so much, Grant, I choose you. <laughs> Today and every day for all the days of my life. I love you. Lisa, what an amazing five and a half year journey that has led us to be standing here today. After having lived across three different time zones together during 18 months of a long distance relationship, 12 plus months of living and working a one bedroom apartment <laughs> in Los Angeles. Most people would say it's about time. <laughs> I love your intelligence, your caring nature, your loyalty and your unwavering support, your dependability and your love of life and music. I love your sense of adventure that has taken us from the highlands of Scotland to the depths of the Great Barrier Islands, playing dancing games and the lights of Tokyo Arcade. I never imagined that I could find someone that I enjoyed spending time with as much as I did. From that evening, less than a year into our relationship, that we spent on the dock at Beacon House, in each other's arms, talking about the future, and watching the sun go down, I knew we'd be with each other for most of our lives. I promise to support and champion you as you continue to rise in your career, and to follow you wherever your ambition may be. As we build our new home together, I promise to protect you and build up and on and to make it a sanctuary of warmth, peace, and love. I promise to laugh at your jokes, even though, as you said, mine are much better. <laughs> I promise to never stop adventuring together and to never become complacent in mind, body, or spirit. When we face challenges in life and in marriage, I promise to face them with you head on, with an open heart and an open mind. I promise to wipe away your tears in times of sadness and to elicit tears of joy. I look forward to the many adventures that are from us, to travel, to music festivals, to board game nights, to college football Saturdays where we can debate the various qualities of different shades of orange. <laughs> to making you listen to audiobooks and history podcasts, <laughs> and to the memories, laughter, and love we will continue to share with all the people we have here with us today. And most importantly, as best friends and partners, I promise to love and cherish you for all of my life as my wife. And now, Lisa, do you take Grant to be your husband? Do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect him, forsaking all others and holding only onto him forevermore? I do. And Grant, do you take Lisa to be your wife? Do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect her, forsaking all others, and holding only onto her forevermore? <laughs> and now the rings. Lisa and Grant will now exchange rings, a symbol of love and commitment to each other. Grant, place the ring. Oh. On Lisa's left hand. Ah. There it is. Excellent. Please, please place a ring on Lisa's left hand and repeat after me. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. That I have chosen you. Above all else. With this ring. With this ring. I be wed. I be wed. And Lisa, please place a ring on Grant's left hand and repeat after me. As a sign of love. As a sign of love. That I have chosen you. That I have chosen you. Above all else. Above all else. With this ring. With this ring. I be glad. I be glad. I would like to have some final word the two of you. Travel together. Eat great foods. Enjoy sick drops. It will take time to show each other that your love and marriage grow stronger. It will take trust. 
know that in your hearts you truly want what is best for each other. It will take dedication to stay open to one another, to learn and grow together. It will take loyalty to go forward together without knowing exactly what the future brings. And it will take love to hold true to the journey you have both pledged today. And now, by the power vested in me, it is my honor and delight to declare you married. Go forth and live each other's day to the fullest. You may seal this declaration with a kiss. I'm so pleased to be with you, Lance. Peace and gratitude.